This video is the third and final part of well, three parts here, obviously. Uh, I've made two other videos on two other different theories of where Michael has been over the four years that he's been gone. I would leave them up at the end of the video as little cards for you to click on. In this video, we're going to be talking about the idea that there is a secret room in the Myers house, slash like an unknown area, and that is where Michael stays for the four years. I fucking hate this theory, personally. There isn't really much to say about this theory. It's obviously the idea that obviously Michael has somehow got this secret maybe passage that maybe no one knew about from that he saw when he was a kid uh, and that's where he's staying i understand why this is a theory at the end of the day people are speculating all sorts of shit i've had some crazy ideas myself on where michael could have been that i've thought jesus christ that's batshit but i just think with how everything has gone this theory is so like I just don't get it. And I almost prefer the idea of Caveman Michael, I think. I, I hate that I say that, but I think. that maybe a reason that I hate this theory so much is because it reminds me of that shit show, piece of shit film that is Halloween Resurrection. In the last two videos, I kind of went over the pros of it and the cons of it, and I'm really struggling to find any pros of it, other than it adds a little bit more character slash like a little bit more depth to the Myers home as a whole. I really do love that they included the Myers house in Kills. I feel like they did it perfectly with Big John and Little John, and it was so realistic the way the house was obviously done up and everything now. I feel like We'd seen the Myers house in like ruins over obviously the past films. And I like the idea that they moved on with it. They tried to obviously sell it off again. These people have done it up, all that stuff. It's realistic, which is why I liked it. But yeah, other than adding a little bit more to the Myers house and allowing us to see a little bit more of it, which isn't always a bad thing. I do think the perfect thing for them to do and the issues I have with this theory will be that I think they're definitely going to go in the direction of taking the Myers house down having it completely ripped up from the ground. There is going to be nothing of that house left. You know, because why would they leave it standing? Like, what reason do they have to leave that house up? Now, I know there are some theories where it's actually Laurie that does it herself, like she buys it and tears it down, which I think either way, if they get rid of the Myers house, I think that's a good idea for the film to go in. You know, after finding Karen on the floor, because again, in my opinion, I think she's dead. I think they would have obviously gone up, found Karen dead. Like, they are going to have searched that house top to bottom so i just can't see how michael would have found this place to be and he can hide there and he can't get caught there when the last time he was actually in that house was 78 for a little bit when he tried to go home and then before that as a kid another reason i don't like this theory and it kind of does tie into the caveman one is i just can't see how the town would just move on if he just disappears like that like if he's just gone like he's killed karen he's clearly been back in the house and now he's just gone. You know, they thought that it was just a story before, so they didn't do anything. Everyone had moved on from it, obviously, except from the victims that remember it. But now that he's been out and he's been back to the town and he potentially hasn't been captured again, uh, if they go with this direction, I just don't see how they can move on with it without that Myers house being completely ripped apart. I said in the Caveman Theory video that Michael can't really hide in plain sight anymore. His face and mask, everything is going to be everywhere now with the technology. You know, we saw on the broadcast that they had already broadcasted his face anyway. So now they know it's not the other guy. At least everyone in Haddonfield is going to know that who what Michael looks like. Obviously, the mask, everything about him is going to be broadcasted now. So we cannot hide in plain sight, especially in a house on one of the streets you know obviously they still could do that it's a theory so it could definitely happen and yeah i can't lie i don't really have a lot more to say on this theory obviously it's definitely a potential if you have any other ideas of what they might do to the myers house other than tear it down let me know obviously i don't know like it's quite far-fetched for laurie to be living in the house if she's still crazy and waiting for him but i think with the four years that it's passed we're not gonna see a very crazy Laurie. But yeah, let me know what you think on this theory. I'll leave the two other videos up right now on the other two theories I talked about so you can go and watch them. Maybe you prefer them theories or you have something to add on them theories. I'm always interested in looking at these different theories, see if anyone's posted anything new. So yeah, if you have anything that you think might happen, put them in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video.